is proof that all these developers are pissing off customers with all these fucking pre-order incentives and DLC packs on like day one with ridiculous prices. What am I talking about? Well, there was a report by, let, let me see if I can pronounce this fucking right, but by Ip, Ipso, Ipsos Mores. That's fucking weird to say. I, I, I know I said that wrong. Ipsos Mori Game Track Project. They found that 20% of UK customers are either pre ordering fewer games or not pre ordering anything at all. Now that's not surprising, especially in the current gaming market as it stands. Now they say that the biggest reason uh, behind these people not paying for the like pre-ordering games is non-gaming related items. Now to me, that either says like one, that the cost of living has got them so high now that even if they wanted to pre-order a game and get all the DLC and the day one shit, they can't. They just can't because it's just the world has just become too bloody expensive. Or two, that they would rather spend all of their money on non-game related things because because they're getting so fucking pissed off with all these pre-orders and all this bullshit that comes with it. Especially, especially when all the content that you're buying, that you're paying extra money for, is already on the fucking disc. And then you're just paying another, what, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, what, dollars, wherever you're from, to unlock it when it's already fucking there. You see, developers, this is what happens when you get greedy. Capitalism. It can be good, or it can be a fucking dildo in the ass. When you piss off your customers, this is what happens. But you're waiting for it to get this bad before you do anything, because you want to see how long you can go with taking the piss. Well, developers and, and companies and, and publishers are going to have to rethink their strategies of how they're going to earn more money or offer more content because clearly people are starting to speak out. Now, I know that I just, just released a video about Mario Kart 8 DLC and how good it is and saying, you know, that I love the DLC, but DLC can be a good thing and when you do it properly then people don't complain. People don't bitch about it because they know they're getting good quality content. Like, for example, with the Mario Kart 8 DLC, is that it was it wasn't like their day one for you to buy in the shops that which would mean that it's already there on a fucking disc and you have to pay extra to get it out. Now they made it and then released it further on down the line. I really do kind of sound like a bit of a Nintendo fanboy, don't I? <laughs> I'm not. Don't worry. Because I did point out on their bullshit. Like their stupid business policies. Ooh, in conclusion, developers, publishers, whoever the fuck you are, fix up. Because people aren't going to take it anymore. That's all from me. <laughs> Bye.